So hello everyone. Once again, we are in the exclusive interview series with successful business analysis practitioners. I am Rashmi from Tech Canvas, your host for this session. Tech Canvas is an edtech organization catering to several business analysis certifications. So the intention of this interview is to uh, to interview successful business analysts, and idea is to bring out their success stories so that it inspires the aspiring candidates. So today we have invited Manish Kumar, who is successful business analyst professional, and he has recently cracked CCBA. IIBA CCBA certification examination. Welcome, Manish. Hi, ma'am. Good afternoon. Uh, it's great to uh, thank. Thanks a lot for having me on this call. Uh, thank you. Uh, so, ma'am, as you introduced me as a successful business analyst, ma'am, I would say that uh, success is, uh, you know, uh, a very uh, uh, a term which we as a business analyst we should uh, as in we should refrain from using because we try to achieve that level we try to achieve the perfection but then and i think i am also somewhat trying to achieve that level and i have not reached that level as yet but still uh, see this training of mine and this certification of mine definitely helped me a lot uh, in order to you know compete with uh, the people in the business so it really helped me a lot so ma'am, right. I would like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Please, so, please. Sir. So yeah, I understand that, and it's a wonderful acknowledgement that for you the success is the journey rather than the goal, and it is a wonderful thought process. So Manish, let's begin on your interview. So can you tell about yourself, Manish? Sure, ma'am. Um, I am working as a business analyst right now in uh, one of the private banks in the country, uh, pri private banks here, as in. So, uh, uh, my total experience as of now in banking industry has been of 11 years, out of which seven years I was into operations and then I uh, switched over to the business analyst role. So, uh, being working into operations and, uh, you know, changing my job role to when uh, BA1 had was a very a difficult choice to opt for because it's it a uh, it is a completely different job role when you are into operations you uh, have a target set in your mind that how will you process these many transactions in a given frame of time but then when you are working as a business analyst then it's a different ball game altogether you think that how a particular requirement will be gathered what will be how will you be handling the stakeholders and what will be your approach in case uh, you want a thing to be processed or a requirement to be actually converted into reality so uh, ma'am uh, i would say that my uh, experience in operations has helped me a lot into like uh, the business analysis role that i have been uh, you know doing for the last four years now I worked in. I started my business analyst role with one of the fintech companies named TradeStream, which uh, is into automation of trade finance. And later, I switched in, switched over to Bandhan Bank Limited. I completed my CCBA uh, certification in the month of May while I like I was working in Bandhan Bank Limited. Like I was working there. All right. And I. So, mm -hmm. yeah. so when did you decide, Manish? Um, to look for this certification? Okay. Ma'am, uh, when I was, like I started working as a business analyst, then I had no idea what this job role was, as in I had never worked as a business analyst and it was uh, all that people around me knew, as in I learned by practicing, ma'am. I There was no training or uh, you know, uh, set of, no set of rules that were provided to me, you know, that you have to follow this and this and this, then you will become a business analyst or you will be uh, doing a role or a work as a business analyst. So while doing that, I thought I actually learned a lot. But then uh, at some point of time, I used to feel that something somewhere is missing or maybe, uh, you know, I could do a particular job role in a better manner. So I started searching out for or looking out for certifications available in the market, uh, which could actually train me or, you know, make a better, uh, make me a better 
business analyst and that's when i actually read about iiba and their various certifications since i did not have uh, that optimum number of hours as in 7500 hours for appearing for cbap examinations that's why i uh, opted to go for ccba examination all right so having said that this certification is not simple to crack and it needs a lot of organizing organized planning so how did you plan your you you plan your preparation for this ma'am uh, planning for this was really tough to be candid uh, like as satish has said in the training sessions uh, babok book is actually a sleep inducing book <laughs> so <laughs> you need a lot of uh, attention in order to uh, read that book you should have that motivation within yourself in order to uh, read that thoroughly and to understand each and every uh, information that's given in the book it mm-hmm. it covers almost all the aspects that a business analyst has to do but then yes reading through it is a uh, task which actually needs to be done which was difficult i agree that is difficult reading through it mm-hmm. itself is difficult because i went through the book around twice or thrice uh, three times i think yes three times but then yes the first time was really very very difficult mm-hmm. okay so you suggest that going through the babok guide will be sufficient Um, I suggest that going through. See, ma'am, when I started uh, looking out for these certifications, I thought that I'll be uh, I'll be able to do it on my own. I started uh, reading Babok as well, uh, but then, ma'am, I kept on reading that book for around five six months after registering. So uh, then I gave up. I thought that no, I have been wasting a lot of time, and then I. Then it was that was the time I actually uh, found out that Tech Canvas is a from which is uh, you know giving out trainings for such certification and then only i enrolled for tech canvas it was after i uh, went through all those training sessions and uh, the materials that were provided that it proved as an helpful it proved a lot 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 helpful so yes babok is what needs to be read but then definitely if you undergo a training through a place like tech canvas then definitely that will help you crack the okay. exam all right so uh, any time you felt that you were under confident manish on the certification okay ma'am uh, when i was preparing this exam like i was trying to prepare for this exam myself uh, and i was not I, as in i did not have any idea about what to do and what not to do even after going through the book once then i felt like i am not confident enough to appear for this exam but then yes after undergoing this training program through tech canvas i felt that yes all is well and i can appear for the exam okay great so uh, how much time did it take for the preparation the exam preparation ma'am i see in my case ma'am i took a lot of time because i initially i started preparing on my own so i took around 5 6 months but then that did not produce any results but then yes after joining tech canvas it took me around uh, not more than 2 to 3 months to uh, prepare and so it was actually a fresh start for me uh, when i joined tech canvas i can say that uh, yes within 2 3 months definitely one can appear for this exam okay so uh, my next question it's a little um, it will be helpful for the audience the aspiring candidates so how was your mental preparation for the on the exam day because having said that ccba is a challenging exam So, how did you keep cool and calm that day? Okay, ma'am. Uh, keeping cool, ma'am. See, actually, you need to uh, read a lot. As in, uh, you need to keep a lot of things on in mind when you are appearing for this uh, examination. So, uh, ma'am, uh, if you go through a lot of questions and you practice a lot of questions, like Tech Canvas module has a lot of practice uh, sessions and full length tests module as well. So. Uh, that that is what ma'am helped me realize that no uh, my preparation is not that all that bad as in it's good it can be it is comparable so <laughs> that's when i thought after ma'am after you like after having read the book and you actually appear for those examinations that will give you the boost your confidence actually so that's what helped me mm-hmm. so after being a ccba certified do you see any change uh, there's perspective Ma'am, I did. Uh, like when I was um, 
first i'll tell you about the work prospect and then my career uh, like aspect what change happened so ma'am from the work perspective uh, there was a lot of change that i used to observe like for example there are several in total 50 techniques that have been defined in the babok so uh, uh, like for example there used to be certain reports or certain activities uh, that used to get defined so we used, it was much more easier for me to pinpoint like no this sh- this thing should not be happening uh, this particular way or uh, a particular change in a document or a particular change in the process can bring about an improvement in the entire uh, module or the entire uh, workflow that's being developed or being designed Mm-hmm. from the career perspective i would say ma'am the moment i updated my resume with ccba i started receiving a lot of calls from uh, various companies and these were not small companies ma'am these were uh, companies which are in the big four consultancy firms and uh, companies from top 10 um, it companies in the world so wow. yes ma'am this does uh, the certification does give you a lot of uh, recognition right mm-hmm. wonderful wonderful to know So, so Manish, um, Manish, before we let you go, any tips and tricks you want to share with the aspiring candidates? Yes, ma'am. I would like to, ma'am. Uh, I would like to suggest that see, you need to remember a lot of things. You need to memorize a lot of things as well. But, ma'am, uh, it is not just memorizing that's going to help. Uh, you need to understand what is given in Babok as well. because all questions will not be a straight through question wherein you just read the question and you have your answer ready in the options mm-hmm. there will be questions that will be situation based and uh, you will have through uh, you'll have to dig through all the words or the sentences that are given in the book actually to arrive at a particular answer mm-hmm. so i would say that going through the babok thoroughly by thoroughly i mean thoroughly i mean thoroughly that is what is what will be helping anyone all right yes so thanks manish wonderful session and thanks for taking out time to share your experience with us and many wishes from tech canvas team for your bright and successful career ahead thanks a lot ma'am thanks for having me on the session thank you thank you